Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. I know that the ban actually happened a few days ago, but I'm recording this on the day of the ban, and lo and behold, good old Uro <laughs> ended up getting axed. Uh, it will be replaced with wild cards, which is the reason why I made sure to stock up on Uro before the ban. <laughs> That's what you do and you know it's going to happen in a wild card economy, I guess. Uh, so, with that being the case, though, I do need to actually, yes, yeah, say f four Mythic Wild Cards. I do actually need to come up with something else to run in Standard, because I was having a good bit of fun with that. Uh, the deck is now a little bit out of date. A little bit. Let's see. So, if I'm going to keep this same deck, which I'm, I'm not, part of the, the way that the deck was built is the interaction between Uro and Silver Smoke Ghoul. Well, since I don't have Uro to gain three life, turn after turn. I don't have that engine anymore. I either need to try to figure out another way to gain a bunch of, uh, to gain three life over and over again, or I need to take this out too and just go with a different strategy altogether. So first let's look up, hello, there we go, three life, see what we have. Plenty of these are going to be you lose three, you pay three life. Uh, cling to dust I have as a two of, which either draws or gains three life. Uh, this pay three life, Let's see. I guess Troll could be kind of interesting. Um, but Troll wins the game on its own. It doesn't need the Ghoul. And for right now, I'm going to try to keep it within these colors, within Bug. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, no. A anything that makes a food token would be kind of interesting. Let's try that out. Let's see, just within these colors. And these are only the cards that I have. Get out of here, dude. Let's see. Hmm. Nope. I, I guess I could spend wild cards on the enchantment that lets you pay one when you sacrifice a food token. And then there's this. Oh, one, three for two. Hmm. No, probably not. Probably not. I don't know, I'm trying to make it work. When it attacks or blocks. Now this actually might do it. This actually might be something. It's only a 3-3 three, three for 3, and it lets you sack two foods to draw a card. But when you sack a food, you can also get back a ghoul. So that might actually do it. Now, there are cards like Scoot Swarm I would just like to have more of. Um, but I only have one, and I'm not right now anyway, spending the wild cards on it. Same thing with Brazen Barter. Although, that would be something to put my, my mythic wild cards I just got towards uh, Brazen Barter and just make like a tempo deck, basically. So here are the obvious ones. I know I have another Murderous Rider. So we'll take that out. Um, I'm actually going to take the Ghoul out, unfortunately. I'm going to try to go on a different game plan, which means I need seven more cards. Now, it should be easy enough to find seven more cards in here somewhere. Surely. Surely. Uh, so let's go back to our pixie. Add that in. Um, Beanstalk Giant. I can actually take one other card out. I don't have as much need for blue. Um, Drown in the Lock I think is a fine card. Hmm. But, let's see. Could I take out one of my lands? Hmm. Yeah, I... <coughs> excuse me. I guess I could. Could take out one of the lands. Not the Jungle Hollow. Ideally, it would be another temple, but I could use those colors. Um, I think that, actually, now, the Temple of Mystery is the, the least relevant. So that gives me three of each dual land, four tri-lands, four fable passage, and then six basics to get with fable passage or with, um, you're actually way down here, beanstalk giant. And that's probably okay for right now. Let's see, so I need to craft, what do I need to craft to make this work? I don't, do I? Wait, the card's not in your collection. Uh-oh, where are you? I don't see any. Am I missing something? Let me check the sideboard, I guess. Mm. Aha! Okay. 
cool. Ah, oh, that's that was tricky. Almost got me. Uh, da 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 da. Ooh. Uh, yeah. That, this is just a a sideboard I threw together. It doesn't mean anything. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, inscription could go in as well. That seems all right. Just ni a nice little option select. It lets me do whatever I need. Uh, but it only gets back Null Priest, Skull Prophet, and Marleaf Pixie. So maybe not. It might be worth it though. Uh, yeah, I guess that's better than Eat to Extinction. So we will. How do I move this into the deck? Nope, not like that. Okay. Well, while we're here, make a quick change. Eat. Okay. Not as not as specific as I had hoped it would be. Eat two. Okay, please. <laughs> I'm trying to not have to type the whole thing. There we go. We'll just do 14 card sideboard. It's okay. We're, not, we're playing best of one anyway. Inscription. See if that's enough. Yep. See, now that worked, though. All right. Uh, and then change the name to uh, Midrange. Standard Bug Midrange. Sure, why not? We can actually even put in another Kling in place of... Extinction Event seems a little awkward when you have as many as I have, as many creatures as I have. Mm, maybe I don't do that. Maybe we take Extinction Event and put it in the sideboard. Put Eat in and add another Kling and do it that way, I guess. Eat. Om nom 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 nom. Oh yeah, th this again. Is that enough? Yes, okay. Because this at least, it hits Planeswalkers as well. It's an instant. Let's me filter through my deck a little bit. So I, I guess that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the Uro picture up there though. <laughs> All right, because why not? Actually, let's check the store. See what we have today. There aren't that many things that I'll get. Packs. Uh, what is this? Mana sleeves? No. Packs, gems, and there's something else. Uh, well, gold, of course. Spend gold to get more gold. No, I think we're okay. Uh, I'm a free-to-play player, and because of that, I only spend uh, coins on things that'll actually help me out. So. 20 blue or black spells. Yeah, we can make... Because of internet issues, we're going, only going to be playing casually, unfortunately. Um, sorry. I've had too many disconnects. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. When I get on a better connection, I'll, I'll try to push forward again. Alright. Captain Batek. Hmm. Okay. Uh, sure, we'll keep. This looks alright. Malady into... into Island Pixie, I guess? Hello? Dude. Chill. Alright. Play the temple first. Ooh, Barbara looks good. We'll hang on to that. Especially since I know I'm going to be able to get a fourth land off of Beanstalk Giant. And I might even draw into another one with Kling. So yeah, I could go Beanstalk Giant into... Swamp seems greedy, but it would give me a, a, the ability to use Kling. Giant Killer. Okay, cool. Let's play out our Pixie. But that's actually something that they could tap down. And if they do tap it down, I won't be able to use the giant. I'll just play the temple instead. Oh, nope. Aha, here we go. Stuff is happening. Oh boy. Well, at least if they put all of their eggs into that one basket, we should be okay. Yeah. Yeah, basically. I don't have a lot of green mana, so maybe I should go for that. But I also don't need a lot of green mana in this deck. Uh, yet another temple. We're getting pretty close. We're actually going to have enough for Garuk. Um, hmm. Actually, I, I think I could use some more action. 
If they can put something into their graveyard for cling, please. At least if they keep putting all of their tokens onto the giant killer. Oh, no, they didn't. Okay. Played around it. This is an instance where I, I might, like, eat for, uh, eat to ex extinction. Or extinction event be even better now. Dude. 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 Alright, do this again. Hmm, get a forest this time. Represent those colors. Uh, I could play Borrower into Garuk next turn and kill something. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, let's... Let's wait. The, the deck is seriously powered down from where it would have been, though, unfortunately. Alright. You gain one life. Cool, you gain one life. You gain life for the first time each turn. Ah! Oops. I should have I should have hit that with Brazen Borrower at the time. That's my bad. That's a hundred percent my bad. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that shouldn't have been the one to bounce. I should have bounced the cleric. So that I could actually kill this guy. With Groot. Garrick. Okay. I actually don't know if I would like to kill it yet. Let, let's use this and see. Let's find out. It's another land. Um, I could make two two twos. Three would get through to Garuk, but I would gain some counters back on him. Okay. Here goes nothing. Next turn, Beanstalk Giant as well. Because otherwise I just lose Garuk. I, I didn't even do all that much with him. Okay. Aspirant, as expected. Okay. Tribal clerics, let's go. Put on the giant killer, yep. Okay. One. I could double block, but then I'd lose Garuk. And I think it's better to keep him alive for a bit. So, Groot goes to two, then four. Alright, two triggers. We can, we can live with this for a little while. A Beanstalk Giant, or a Pixie and a Prophet. Yeah, let's go Giant time. With another one on the way. They can kill this thing, though. Heartless Act is a card. And I do have to worry about that. All this incremental advantage that we're, they're, they've been grinding out against me might be too much. Might be. We'll find out. Uh-oh. They're pointing at it. Also, uh, they have a human, so... Oh, okay. That works. I'm supposed to say dire... What's it called? Dire Tactics? Alright, let's see how they distribute the counter here. Alright. So no matter what, Garuk is dead. And because of that, I might as well kill one of these while I'm at it. We'll do... Doesn't really matter there. Yeah, sorry, buddy. You tried. You tried. Yay! Well, oh, wolf. That's okay. They could be could be worse. Uh, they're tapped out, so so what now? All right. Drown in the lock. How many do they have? Two. Okay. So I can kill one of these. 
think I will before they have a chance to untap with it. Okay. I could do a Skull Prophet and use Pixie Hold Up Cling, I guess. No, let's let's just widen our board a bit. We don't need to use the cling just yet. Alright. No attacking yet. The time is almost right. That's way more cards than they have in hand, though. Okay. That's fair. Giant Killer can't tap down anymore. They still only have the one white mana. Okay. This is not a particularly hard block for me. Let's see what they have. Heartless Act. Destroy target creature, you lose to... What happened there? Choose target creature. Okay, gains when it dies, return it to the battlefield. Tapped under its owner's control. Okay, that's fair. Hmm. I'm at six. So, play another giant. And then... Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And then I lose. Uh, alternatively, I could have held up Cling to gain three life and block with the Pixie. That doesn't win the game for me. All right, can you gain life here? If you do, you win. Okay, no they cannot. Not yet. Alright. Now I have not quite enough cards to cling yet, actually. Oh, good grief. Itchy nose, why now? Now I do. Alright. Exile it. Itchy nose. Oh! I should have hit the giant killer. Why did I not hit the giant killer there? Seriously, why did I not hit the giant killer? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, sure. Alright, so it didn't resolve. Um, pass. Alright, what do you have? So, tap it down again. Trade with the 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Uh, that is a cleric, so they would gain some life. Hmm. Okay, that's good. That's to be expected. Tap it down. Alright. Let's see. It's a hit there. I would like to draw a card to actually find some more action. As opposed to just gaining life. Alright, so we'll end up blocking with the pixie. And then... Alright, that's a Null Priest. That's that's actually not bad. Alright, let them attack. Block with the Pixie, flash in the Borrower. Alright, and now, there we go. Flash it in. And this will let me get the Beanstalk Giant back. It's not enough, but it's something. Uh, this has lifelink too, so that helps. Let's see. Scry one. Yay. Neat. Oh, Pelucranos. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay with seeing that. We actually have enough mana we can fight immediately. Kick. Alright. Gee, I wonder what I'm getting back. Hi, giant. 
Okay, we may have been able to eat this one out, but I, I still kind of doubt it. Still think we might not have made it out just yet. Can't block with the borrower anyway, so might as well. Alright. Uh, what do you have? Ooh. Oh, village rights. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Well, it's not done yet. Oh, wait, this was end of turn. Yes, it is. It is done. Yeah, good game. I didn't, I didn't play around them having that, of all things. It made sense to attack there. I don't get to use it for much anyway. Yeah, so I made a mistake or two. We'll keep playing it out a bit. Alright, and then we have to wait. And then we wait. How are you folks? I'm alright. Looking forward to some... Uh, I'm going to be playing a game I have, I have intentionally been keeping from myself for uh, years at this point, uh, which is Dark Souls 3. As much as I love Dark Souls, and even Dark Souls 2, it's, it's a fun game, uh, Dark Souls 3 I didn't actually own until recently, so I've been keeping myself away from spoilers. Unfortunately, some stuff has already been spoiled for me, so it's... That's fine. Alright, play that out. Let it go first. Alright. And then temple and then passage. It's a slow hand. The joy of having a ton of tap lands. Okay, hellhound. Right. Uh, hollow. Actually, that might be okay. That might be fine. We need them to actually start putting stuff into their yard, though. So we'll play the Skull Prophet next. Alright. There's some damage. There's Cobra. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright. Skull Prophet. Might as well. And then pass the turn. Yay. Good times. Zoo. I'm playing against Zoo. Oh, it's Winota. Never mind. Alright, none on the first. Something on the second. Bosri's Lieutenant. Okay. Well, that's not great. Uh, I think we've already lost this one. Yeah, Winota is a card. She is, uh, quite the card. So one in the yard. That's not enough. At all. Not at all. Not even close. So we can use Kling on our own Fable Passage. Try to draw into another answer, I guess. Let's get some black mana out. Swamp. Kling. Fable Passage. Draw a card. Please. Nope. Nope. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's game. You win 0% of the games you concede, though, so I'll keep going. But we're, we're kind of done at this point. Yeah. Yeah, that'll happen. Winota, if you can't answer her immediately. Then you lose. Alright. And now we take a ton of damage. They come in uh, tapped and attacking, by the way, folks. What, is, what even is... Oh, Kenrith. Jeez. Alright, 8, 12... Yeah, we'll use the cling to dust, but it only keeps us alive for a little while. Yeah, we're about to go to 1 here. Good times, folks, good times. Oh, I should have done it on my own Skull Prophet, because now Drown has no chance of coming out. No, not, not that it did anyway. Never mind. Itchy nose, good grief. Alright, well... Yeah... Give him the good game. Yeah, I'm playing Fair Magic. I don't think that that's where I'm supposed to be in Standard right now. I, I don't think it is. 
Hmm. I'll go, I'll go back to putting Extinction Event in. Let me make that change really quickly. At the very least, I can do that. Also, also Mythos, it's still okay, but it's not great when you can't get Uro into the yard. That's, that's where it shined. I could get Brokos, uh, Uro, and then a utility creature like Murderous Rider. Alright, let's switch in here. Once again, itchy as can be. Alright. Not there. Uh, hmm. Alright, one, two, and then find two to take out. Drown. Sorry. That means I don't have a lot of blue mana left in the or blue cards left in the deck. Uh, not at all. We're getting dangerously close to the point where we could just run. Hmm. No, it, it's fine. I still would like to keep Mythos. I still like the card. I can't help myself. Guilty pleasure. All right. After this win, I guess I'll open up a pack. Just do something different after the next win. Sure, this looks okay. Everything I need, if not everything I want. That's okay. We'll keep that. Hang on to that. We still need another green for Mythos, but thankfully we have two pixies. So that should be alright. Pixie number one. See if it lives. See if it's. My opponent played a forest. I'm assuming it gets to live. Oh wow. Okay. Aha! Hi Scourge! Let's uh... What's the kicker cost? An extra... no. No. Let's make them discard two cards. Or I can kill the Scourge, actually. That wouldn't be so bad. Uh, but we have Murderous Rider for that, so I'll make them discard. Alright, cast it normally. Discar opponent discards two cards. Neat. Get to just play a regular old Mind Rot. Which is also in standard. So if you'd like to play 8 Rack, I, th I think you just need an enabler. Sure. And what'd they hit? Bosri and Iridescent Horn Beetle. Okay. So it's just a counters deck. One of the joys of playing against a counter stack, though, is that they lose to silliness like this. Okay, so if I play the island, I can go... I can actually kind of have my cake and eat it, too. Let's go here. Uh, murder the Scourge. Before that gets out of hand. And then play out another creature. Now, this does have reach and protection for multicolored, so... As long as they don't attack here, they actually do have a bit of a wall. Uh-oh. Target creature you control. When it attacks, put a, pl a plus one plus one counter on each attacking creature with a plus one plus one counter. Okay, that's not great. So if I play Mythos here, I could get Brokos, I could get another Murderous Rider. That's probably what I'd like to do. Let's get another Murderous Rider, and put it right on in. Okay. And then get this one. Add it to hand. Ta-da! Yeah, I don't have the double black yet, though. That's a problem. Ooh. Okay, that can actually just kill the serpent, though. That sounds like something biblical. It just kills the serpent. Okay, you have protection for multicolored as well, don't you? Yep, okay. But you don't fly. Yeesh. Uh, no blocks. If we can stabilize, we should be okay. Okay, so a few things here. Use this to remove three counters from you. One, two, three. Alright, kills it. And then... Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's stem the bleeding. Okay, 
but we can actually block the 2-2. Two, two. Alright, and then we'll pass. We can just hit for 2, since we can only block this one. Alright. Yeah, might as well. Now we don't have the extra black for double murderous rider. Felidor retreat. Interested in battlefield in your control. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. Actually, what could get me out of here if I do that? Well, it's okay. I think I have to because I can only get one murderous rider. Ooh. All of these look okay, um, but I think I need the Beanstalk Giant, because it's the it's not multicolored, so it can block the Lieutenant. No, let's, let's put that down. It could have given me another Murderous Rider. Play out two Riders. I probably should have kept it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Cling to dust. Interesting. Well, these... Let's see. I can attack with one of them. You don't have reach. You don't have reach. You don't have reach. So attack with just you. Just to try to put a little bit of pressure on them. Um... In turn. With Kling, I should be okay. Uh-oh, another retreat. That's not good. And they found it. Making two cats. I assume. Yep. Oh, no, both. They're doing different modes. Interesting. Alright, so Ooze is going to attack here. Puts a plus one, plus one counter on each. Alright, so wait a minute. So if I... Block Protection from Multicolor. Murderous Rider. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, this is tricky. Alright, so gain three life. I'm at six. I can block here. Here and here, and stay alive. All right, what trick do they have? There's a, a one mana, I think it's called Fight is One, that could get them out of this. Because that's a human, and that's not a human. Uh-oh. Okay, that's all. Okay. Yay, I'm at two, I'm alive at two! Woo! They get more tokens. Uh-oh. Uh, right on time, Scoot Swarm. Right on time. Five. Yeah. This does not a win make. Okay. Pass. Oh, they could actually even put some... I don't want to put my mouse over it. They could put some counters on uh, crawling... Uh, not anymore, they can't. Crawling barons. Then attack with that. Alright, if it's just you... Let me see. Becomes the target of a spell? Okay. With a plus one, plus one counter on it. Yikes. Okay. Block there. Alright, so they have a trick. No, they don't. No, they don't. So it dies, they make another... Fun. Fun times. Pelucranos. Uh, let's see. I can f immediately fight with something. Hmm... Let's see. Yeah, Pelucranos. I could spend one mana. Uh, alternatively, I could use Cling 
No, no, I need to actually win. I need to win, not not lose. And then pass. Okay. I have a sneaking suspicion that this deck is not quite as good as the Uro one I've been running. Alright. Plus one, plus one counter on each creature they control. Surely. Yep. Yep. Uh, you know what? I should have used the Plukranos ability earlier. That's okay. I, I messed up. I messed up. The reason I didn't is I'm saving these for being able to block. Let's see. They have six creatures, I have five. One of them is going to keep getting bigger. I also could have eaten that with Kling, but then I give up. I, I, I lose the game if I do. Uh-oh. Yeah, now they have... now they have enough. Okay. Alright, let's see how they attack. Swing with the team? Yep. Okay, cool. Go to blocks. One. That's, that one's easy. Two. They are no more green mana. Okay. Three. Four. Alright, so at this point, I would take eleven. Let's see. So I need to block here as well. I lose the swarm. I need to, I will take seven, gain two, um, and now I would need to fight with Pelucranos, but then I don't kill the Scoos. Still have to do it. Hmm. Spell and opponent controls. Alright. We're at three. We're at three life. We are so dead. Okay. Um, is there anything that can get us out of this spot? No, there is not. Uh, unfortunately, there is not. Extinction Event actually still wouldn't have saved us there, I think. I'd have to look at the Swarm's mana cost, but I, I thought it was an odd number. Uh, if so, Even wouldn't have saved us. Well, no. If I name Even, even if it's odd, I have a blocker. So at least there's that. Man, Felidar Retreat just gains so much advantage over the course of a game. Maybe I should try something else. Maybe I should try a different deck. Because I, I have a sneaking suspicion that this deck that I'm running, not good enough. Ikarish. Probably not. If I lose again, then I'll, I'll uh, go and retweak it real quick. Or just do another deck entirely. Alright, so we'll play the Temple first, in case, we'll play Temple of Deceit first, in case we need to kill something with Heartless Act. Uh, shh, no thank you. Ooh, okay, yep, we will indeed need to kill something. Ooh, here went Extinction Event. It was gone either way, but, uh-oh. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get rid of this thing now. Kill it with fire? Or kill it with a big sword? Alright. Ooh, okay. Well, I tried. I tried, folks. Yeah, and that's a rogue, too. Good times. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, let's get our other color of mana out. Drown. Oh, I still have some number of Drown in the deck, don't I? How many cards? One. That's fine. We'll hang on to that. It doesn't matter, because we're going to lose it anyway. But, it's okay. Actually, no, it does matter, because I can use Cling to get it if they... Yeah, there's Wrinkle. Good grief, I hate this guy. Your graveyard. Alright, let's hit uh, Fable Passage. Alright. 
Well, yeah, it's not looking great. All right, modes. Draw a discard. Yep, okay. So I'll first discard uh, Temple, because it seems bad in the My Opponent Can Mill Me match. Alright, two. Not enough to kill you. Enough to deal with the rest, though. Sweet flash. Okay. Um. It's already at. Yeah, this is just about lethal. It's effectively lethal. Um. I, look, I don't know, folks. I genuinely don't know. Alright. Let's get blue mana, I guess. Hold up Drown. Actually, let's fire it off while they're tapped out. Let's see what difference that makes. Alright. I would have liked to save it for the flying creature, but alas. Alright. Yeah, I would have been dead had I not done that, because the one damage would have been lethal. Okay, so there's a pixie just to block Rankle. Aha! Jeez. Um, that actually might be something. I don't have the mana for it until I do this. Please don't say you've hit my forest. Please. Okay, we're good. Okay, if they kill it, I'm dead, which they can kill. They can kill it. All right. So this is, I can block here, gain three, go to one. I mean, this is the only thing I can block anyway. So mode is gain three life. All right, I'm at one. Did they miss that? I guess. Alright. Uh, um, well, I, have, I do have Cling, so I'll make a Beast token. We'll see if this thing can help me take over the game. My suspicion is no, but I would like to be wrong here. So, let's see. I can go... I can play a pixie, just in case they have another flying creature. And then temple. See what I get. A uh, null priest. What's in my graveyard? Enough. No Priest is fine, and it has life good link, so that's okay. Alright, and then just pass. Hold up that cling. Slither Wisp. Each opponent loses one life. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, what else do you have in your hand? Has to be a spell with flash. That has flash. Uh-uh. No, you don't. No, you don't. I will eat your rankle. Alright. Yeah, here's the tricky bit. Two, three, four... See, that's not so tricky. Okay. Cling to dust. Doing, doing good work. Doing work, at least. Alright. I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet! You're just about to give me enough to cling again. Just about. I can certainly understand not attacking. Okay, so I have an island. Uh, let's play island first. One, two... Let's see, if I use Beanstalk Giant, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can actually use both of these. I can use the Giant and the Null Priest. But in doing so, I give up Cling. Well, I, I don't have Cling yet anyway. 
I won't have cling especially after this. Alright, so we will get a forest, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Just double counted to make sure. Cast with kicker. Let's get back. Let's get swarm. A uh, downside to doing it that way is that I, I, messed, I missed the landfall trigger. I don't know how I messed that up, but I did. Somehow. Ooh. Maybe I hold that back. So you fly, but you're the only one that flies. I can, I can afford to do this. I might even just gain three life here, just to get outside of Slitherwisp range. Yeah, let's do it. Gain three life. Slitherwisp, Brazen Barber. That can be difficult. Why does this thing have so many abilities? It and questing base, there's not really an excuse. Oh, wait. Oh, do it. Do it. Okay. Um... That does have menace, so maybe I should kill it first. Yeah, let's do it that way. Alright. Well, now I, now I just have all these. Just have all these. That's my only Null Priest as well. Alright. So five again. Uno mas. One more will do it. Yeah, I can't believe I gave up the Scoot Swarm there. Gave up the Scoot Swarm copy. Oh uh, boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, never mind. Now we can cling again if we can just live long enough. Alright, so Rankle has haste. Okay, well this one's obvious. Um, this one's a little less obvious. Do I let Rankle through? And just kill the borrower? Hmm. Take three, and then just pray? <laughs> I guess? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Modes. Alright. Scarred Sacrifice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, they made their choice already. Ah, uh, and that thing has menace. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, we are dead. We are dead. We are so fantastically dead. Okay. Uh... Huh. We are dead. We are dead. We are so dead. Okay. I can live with this? Actually, can I? Um, I'm at a virtual one, because this can hit for three and then I lose one. Oh. Oh. Playing it safely, I agree. Alright, so we can use Cling to gain three more life, but then we're still effectively dead because of the losing one. Alright, and then I have to sack a creature. Uh, gee, I wonder. Uh, now we lose. Well, no, if I Cling and find something to kill Rankle, we can still play. Big if, but I am, I'm going to take the risk. Oh, wait, 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 use a temple first. Okay. That's not it. Alright, here goes. Uh, I will hit 
their Agadine's Awakening. One, two, three, four, five. Those five. Crossing Fingers, Hidden Dragon. What's it going to be? And the new card is... Not helpful. At all. You know what, just, just to do it. One, two, three, four, five. Just to do it. I mean, it, what's done is done, but I, I guess I'll take a look. Watch it be another heartless act. Haha. Uh -huh. Oh, we're, we're so dead anyway. It doesn't matter. All right. Well, actually, give him the good game first. Oof. Sounds like the Roblox. Oof! Uh oh, we are 0 4 today. Actually, it's a good thing we're not playing in ranked. Alright, so in that case, let's change the deck up really quickly. You can do that, right? Let's see. Hmm. Maybe I do treat it like an ultimatum deck. I, I was kind of against that card earlier, but maybe I do, actually. Alright. Let's go back to the drawing board. There we go. Oh, I do have some Cultivate, so... Okay, I'll, I'll run those, I'm sure. Um, one, two, three. Now, uh, I'm gonna add a bunch of cards that won't actually make it in the final cut. Um... Let's see. Drown doesn't. We'll take out Drown. Keep in some ramp. Um. I don't know that I need all of these. Pay. I do need those. Garuk. Garuk. Uh, sure. Brokos. I think I take out Brokos and the Mythos. Pelucranos as a one of is probably okay. Now I need some curved hoppers for the colors. Seagate, turn timber, something black. Let's uh, see what planeswalkers I have right now. Let's see. Just look at planeswalkers collected. Baby Grook seems so all right. Ugin seems definitely all right if we're ramping. But but I can't get it with ultimatum. But but I can get it by ramping. So I guess that's all okay. That can be, that can suffice. Um, I don't know about this. Search your library for a creature card. Put it on the battlefield and shelf your library. Sure. Put in one, and we're at, still at two too many. Um. One cling. I think it's fine to keep in one of them. And then maybe inscription, but that's that and brazen bar are, are my remove. Well, then we have these. Extinction event. Hmm. Let me look for a giant black payoff spell. Let's see. Six or seven. Um, let's see. Massacre Worm. Actually, yeah, that, that seems good. Massacre Worm seems okay. Inscription of Ruin. So we're back here. One Cling is fine. Null Priest is fine. Inscription, I keep coming back to it. It's versatile, but it probably gets cut, actually. Yeah, it, it will cut it. And then one more needs to be cut, and I'm going to make it Extinction Event. Because it's too likely it can come back and bite me. Pelucranos... Yeah, Pelucranos is fine. So, green payoffs. Beanstalk Giant, Turn Timber Symbiote, Elder Gargroth, Garuk. We have plenty of those. Blue is just Seagate Restoration, Brazen Borrower. So maybe I look into blue filtering the same way and see what I have. Not enough non-creatures for Shark Typhoon. Sublime Epiphany. 
the timing is a little weird when you get it off of a an ultimatum though. You're not going to be able to counter target spell or activate it ability. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. It's it's good. We are ramping after all. Um. Hmm. Um. <laughs> I I guess. Hmm. Omniscience is not in the format, is it? Kiora best the sea god. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, let's put that in, and then take out. If I'm, I'm going to risk it, I'm going to risk it. All right, so this this should be okay. I can I can live with this. Um, maybe. I don't know. Watch this be completely wrong, and maybe I should use the whale. I have no idea. Let's try it. Let's find out. And I don't have the the black uh, spell land that you can pay three life to let it come in untapped. All right. Let's keep going for a win. We have to get there. Eventually, we have to get there. Eventually. Before I run out of coffee, hopefully. It's not even that I've lost that many times, it's only been four rounds, but because they go for so long, it feels like forever. Last man sitting. Okay. Sure. Sure, why not? Alright. Yay, ultimatum ramp deck. Woo! Let's go! Woo! Alright. Oh, again. Okay. Well, no matter what, I'm not going to get to keep this, but I'll, I'll pretend I can. Oh, Jay. That's alright. Oh. Oops. Oops. Alright. There's a thief. I'll just kill it now. Might as well. Now's as good a time as any when they can't counter it. Stem the bleeding a little bit. Okay. A card? That would that one would have been nice. Ah, well we we got a temple eventually. Remember, Jay, don't keep this one this time. Not if it's something you like. Actually, Pixie can go. It doesn't matter. Alright. Uh, Thieves Guild Enforcer. Feel it coming. Nope, Night Bonder. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, we actually have stuff now. Hurrah! Um, Grook would be interesting. Controls more creatures than you. Uh, sure. What are the odds it's going to live? No, no way. But I'll try. Okay, that's fair. Probably should have made Eat the Test Spell instead. Probably. Probably. Okay. Well, we're not going to use Gargaroth for it. Not yet. Let's do Beanstalk Giant next. Oh, that resolved quickly, so they don't have something for it. They might now, but they didn't then. Okay. Ah, there you are. And cling too. Ow. Alright. We're almost to Ugin. Almost there. Alright. Let's eat this first. Oh, Jay. Should have cracked the Fable Passage first. Ooh, we will hang on to that though. Wait, 
Why did I just do that? It's going to get... It's fine. It's fine. Oh, never mind. We're okay. We're okay. I'm just... No, we're not. <laughs> Cling to dust is in the graveyard. It's not in my hand. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, end turn. Well, oh, hi, crab. Alright, so they have no blue mana for this coming turn. Alright, attack me. Hit it. I'm actually going to wait to crack the Fable Passage because it makes me ever so slightly more likely that I'll get the 8th mana for Ugin. Alright, go. Uh, no, but that's okay. I can live with that. What color do I need now? I will grab a forest. No. I have, well, yeah, I guess I'll grab a forest. That's okay. What are they doing? What are you waiting on? Right. 37 cards left. Hmm. Yeah, grab a forest. Let's get this out of the way now. It's going to resolve. Because, yeah, no movement. Alright. Three monocolored cards. Let's see. Actually, Cultivate would be interesting. No. We'll do Turn Timber, Seagate Restoration, and a Black Spell. Heartless Act. Sure. All right, let's see. Let them choose. Decisions, decisions. Okay. Uh, yep. Cool. All right. Um, which one do I care about here? I guess the damage, since that's what's getting me closest. No, Ruin Crab, because I might be getting a creature here soon. Either Gargaroth or Ugin to kill their stuff. Alright. Good, 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 good. Very good. Alright, almost doesn't matter what this thing is. If the Triome, we'll let it go. Alright. There goes nothing. That's not a lot of cards left, though. Admittedly, that's really not a lot of cards left. Hmm. Okay. Oh, they don't have any blue mana. As Evangeline would say, Ta-da! And maybe that's game, because Ugin too strong, five me. Yeah, we exiled two. One, two. Alright, so they sack it to draw a card. Cool, as you do. Now, I don't even know if I have any basics left. So I'm going to investigate that. Ooh. Ooh, almost. They're almost there. They could have me. Yeah, let me be investigating that. Okay, we do. Uh-oh. Alright. Anything else? Yeah, deck then. Alright, we're so close. Uh, get an island. Okay, what's about to happen? Oh, they have something on my upkeep. Oh no, what's it going to be? Nope, okay, letting it through. I can live with that. Alright, so let's start off by... Smacking this thing. 
Boom. Okay. Then, let's play an Elder Gargaroth. And then, I pass the turn. With Kling for life gain, Brazen Borrower for a flying blocker. There's a Brazen Borrower. Okay. Uh, I guess play my own Brazen. Oh, wait. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. I have a creature with reach, but I think this is okay. This gets under counter magic. I could have just bounced their Brazen Borrower, but then that puts it back in their hand. Okay. So as long as they can't make me lose one life here. Like with uh, Slither Wisp, I think it's called. Ooh. Twelve cards. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. At that point, I just get a Ghost Fire every turn, and then hit them with a Vigilant 6-6 six, six creature and a 3-1. The clock is just too fast at that point. As good of a card as that is, one of the unfortunate bits about playing Mill is that you can feel like you're ahead all the way until the end. And then and then that happens. It, it's, uh, it's like blue burn. You can run out of gas right at the end. Well, I did say I, I'd open a pack after a win, so let's get one. And of course it's going to be the same thing I've been getting quite a bit lately as I try to fill out my Trilands. One advantage to filling out those Trilands, though, is that I'll, now that Uro is banned, I'll be able to play other colors. Like, if I can get the fourth uh, Obzon one, that's kind of it. <laughs> kind of. That'd be nice. Okay, yeah, I mean... That's fine, I guess. <laughs> Alright. See if we can get one more win in doing our silliness. Love seeing Uro's face plastered there. Okay. <sighs> uh, just... Again, how is your day? I can already see the sun is starting to creep on over. Oh, stretch time, right? Ooh, did you hear that? Ooh, I did. Oh, hi, you again. Long time no see. Long time no see. Okay. Um... Yeah, I can go and get a forest for profit and pixie, or a swamp for heartless act. I think I'm supposed to get a forest here, All, without knowing anything else about what my opponent's on, because I forgot. I think they're on... no, okay, it's this deck again. Yeah, um... I think I still get the forest, don't I? No? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Here goes nothing. It's been a hot minute since Tribal Clerics has been a thing in Standard. And by a hot minute, I mean, like, well more than a decade. Uh, I think since before Modern was a th what before Mirrodin was a thing. Alright, so we get a Forest. A Frest. Oh, hi, Ugin. A little bit early for you, but we take those. Alright. Pixie. It's awkward letting this attack go through, but... I know I have to let it go through. <laughs> they don't have Luris as their companion, though. That would make it a little too easy. Ah! Okay. Let's do it now. Alright. And then I'll lose some life as soon as it loads. Make sure my internet's still working. It is. It says it is. Hello? Okay, there we go. Interesting. Um... Alright, this first. 
get a swamp. And then let's look for some more action. Next turn we'll have, oh yep, take a bit. Okay, yeah, Massacre Worm. Uh, almost, almost there. Not just yet. Next turn, yeah, so Elder Gargaroth, hopefully next turn, Massacre Worm. Hopefully. That's the game plan. I'm sure they can kill this thing, though. If not, it just run. It's one of those cards that just runs away with the game. There it goes. Peasant. Okay. In that case. Get out some ramp and say go. I can deal with both of their creatures, notwithstanding some removal. Which is doing a lot of work in that sentence. Notwithstanding some removal. Ooh, okay. Blood Sheep's Thirst. Guess let's make some blue mana. Let's use it to take you out, bud. Yeah, so now we're not going to be able to get Masker Worm out just yet. Uh oh. Oh no. As Knuckles would say, oh no. In that case. In that case... Oh no. Alright, we'll take it a little bit further. Go to 8. What's the next one? Ah. Oh dear. Not there yet. Alright. I actually probably should have used... well, it's fine. Giant Killer is going to tap down Murderous Rider. I can offer a trade with Vito and then use Heartless Axe to kill Vessel, or kill Giant Killer. Or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe I block the Vessel and then kill Vito. Okay, that was to be expected. Just you. Interesting. Block here. Part of this act. Actually, let's look at my hand one more time. Because I may want to use it. No. Yeah, let's kill Vito. I think that's the more worrisome one right now. Oh, good grief. Swing on through, gain some life back. It's going to tap it down anyway. Okay, what what you got? Yeah, you again. You again, buddy. Ow. Dude. And now we wait. Do they have another one? Another vessel, maybe? Debating killing the creature? Find out next time on... Okay. Oh no. Okay, internet's still fine. At least it says it is. Alright. Can I get another land? Another black source it would have to be, yeah. Because now I can't cast the Massacre Worm. Still. 
Right. I have to do this because otherwise Giant Killer taps down Ryder and then they just swing through with Cleric. It may already be too late for Worm because Worm gives minus two minus two and once Cleric gets outside of range it won't kill it and then they have a chance to come back. I mean there's no way they don't have another creature somewhere in that hand of theirs. Somewhere. Okay. Alright. Come on. In the meantime, I guess do some... Oh! Light painting over my face. Alright. There's Luris. Uh-oh. It's, it's done. It's done. Even if I find another one, it's done at this point. I guess maybe Emergent Ultimatum. I don't think it gets me out of this, though. Maybe. See, my blue payoff, one of them is in the hand. Black payoff is in the hand. I guess I could get, like, a Heartless Act. Or, yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, it doesn't matter. It's a temple, it comes in tapped. They got me. They got me. Good game. Good game. Oi, you got me. With Massacre Worm in hand. What can you do? Um, better land base, I guess? Oh, we'll keep playing. We'll play one more. Change of pace. Change of pace. I'm switching formats. I'm just going to go back to being the kid in the candy shop. Dude. Let's, uh... Let's play... Historic... Mono White Auras. This deck plays itself. Very simple. Uh, it's a ludicrously simple deck. Well, well, we'll see. Maybe they'll have an answer for this, too. <laughs> I, I have a theory that there is a, a lockout period where you can't play against the same opponent twice after a, until after a certain amount of time has passed to prevent... Because, of course, you and your opponent can... Okay. No creature. No. Well, you and your opponent, since you're joining the queue at about the same time, should find each other again. Opponent goes first. Yeah, we'll keep. Uh, without knowing what my opponent's on, let's say Spirit Dancer. All right. So to prevent you from just playing the same person over and over and over again, I would imagine that that takes place. All right, maybe we'll find a land. Maybe. It could just be my luck. This is—is is this the Hardened Scales deck? Oh no. Oh. No, it's not. Hiya. Mine is bigger than yours. <laughs> Alright, in before Satessian Champion shows up. Oh, Transcendent Envoy. Okay, I can live with that. Okay. Well... Let's get it started, I guess. Oh, another one. Please, a land. Nope, not a land. That's okay, we can make it work. Okay, we'll see. Because it's running Transcendent Envoy instead, it or not instead, it's running Transcendent Envoy, it makes me wonder if they might have prison effects. Probably not. Those are pretty underwhelming, and they don't do anything in creatureless matchups, but I've been that guy before, so maybe.
Ooh, okay. I don't have any one-drop ones, though. How about we put it on you instead? Ooh, okay, now what? Divide and conquer. Yes. Ooh, okay. Yes! Okay. We'll see. Quick and easy. No thought involved in that at all. <laughs> so easy a caveman could do So easy a red mage could do No. I'm sorry. <laughs> it will not surprise you that red is my least favorite color in the game. It's fine, but... It's impulsive. It's part of Rakdos. It's chaotic. It involves the card Blood Moon. <laughs> Alright, that's actually going to be it for, for this video. I'm sure I'll end up continuing to play afterwards. We're close. We're close. No, it's fine. <laughs> that's eight more until I get to it. Alright, take care Magic Community, and I will see you all later. Bye bye